It's official. Your girl is officially in her mid 20s. Holla. <laughs> Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. I'm 24 years old, officially. I guess this officially counts as mid-20s, right? I think I've now reached that point of no longer being able to joke about adulting because I'm an ad adult. <laughs> I know my mom and my grandparents are watching this, so you're welcome for making you feel old. Yes, I'm 24. <laughs> Today I am setting up my bullet journal for the month of September and so let's just get right into the video. Let's not make this intro too long. So grab yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I got some water, trying to stay hydrated. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so getting right into things here. This here is my Dingbats journal. You guys know it, we love it, great company. I use these Micron pens here. And if I'm using the white gel pen, it's gonna be a Signo pen. And my Crayola Super Tip washable markers, super fantastic. Y'all know I love it. And this month, I decided to get frisky and use some of these Prismacolor color pencils I just got. I'm really excited to use them. So let's just get right into it here. And here we go with the overexposed side shot. But over on my Patreon, I had a poll going about what the theme for this month should be because September is always difficult for me because it's either you can go back to school or you can make it like a starting of the fall theme. And to be honest, it was a pretty close call, but people decided to do it as a birthday theme because it's my birthday this month. I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned it, but yeah, my, my birthday happened. I, I'm another year older. And since it's still quarantine and I haven't really um, met new people or made new friends here in this town, I wanted this front cover spread to be kind of just like you're walking into the room and there's a birthday celebration happening there. And so that's what this front spread was for me. I went in first with the markers to lay out all of the colors. I wanted to go with the purple, pink, and blue colors here. And then I decided to go in later with these Prismacolor color pencils to add some more depth and details. It's my first time using these color pencils this month, and I'll be honest, I really like it. I'm probably going to incorporate these more throughout the rest of my bullet journal. So here we have me using the brush pen, trying to draw out the little foopy foops of the birthday sign. I like how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty well. I then went in with my white gel pen to kind of put in the letters inside the letters. Just adding a bit more detail, a little bit more of a pop. I went with the Micron pen and wrote out September and put a little heart on the side just so that way it was nice and even. And when I went in to outline the little triangles, I realized they kind of look like Doritos and I'm not mad about it. I like Doritos. Cool Ranch, all the way. Of course, had to go in with the gray marker and do a little drop shadow action here. And the bottom was kind of empty, so I decided just to make it kind of like streamers and adding some little confetti. Kind of gives me nice little 80s vibes, but I love it. And that's gonna do it for the cover sprint. So on to the next page. This here is my month at a glance, and I decided <laughs> to take on a lot with this page. I wanted it to be a giant birthday cake, so the month at a glance lettering at the top is going to be all candles. I'm thinking about those candles that you can have on birthday cakes that are just letters, which I don't know why I had to explain it, because I guess it makes sense. Going in and making some pink frosting. If you're gonna do a spread like this, it'll be super fun, especially if you really do like cake, because you can really just literally decorate it any way that you want. It's your cake, you can eat it too. <laughs> I'll 
I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest cake fan, but I do thoroughly love all of those cake decorating competition shows. Cake Boss is my jam. Sugar Rush is my jam. The Great British Baking Show? Ugh, oh, perfection. I decided to put a apparently very tiny plate at the bottom of the page here. Because, I mean, I don't want to have just a floating cake. Of course, going in with the color pencils, adding more details. It is a great way of adding some more depth to the markers. And it blends in really nicely. Went ahead and outlined the cake here. I didn't want to outline the frosting. Wanted to keep it nice and plain there. At the top, I wrote out the whole Sunday through Saturday and then gave myself a little space on the right for weekly to-dos. I went in with a thinner micron pen and just outlined the candle letters and the little icing dots. And then I just went in and wrote out the dates. And that does it for my month at a glance, and on to the next spread. This one here is my favorite. It is my spending and income log. This is a great way if you're somebody who's trying to keep track of their spending to have a log like this. I write down everything that I spend money on and I document it here for each day. I also share some of this over on my Patreon, these videos. It's an extra little video that you can get every week of me just <laughs> talking about where I spent my money. This one is, again, just going to be kind of like a birthday party room type of scenario with uh, some fun balloons, which I love balloons so much. Honestly, I think now that I'm washing this back, I'm probably going to go out and buy myself some balloons. I definitely wanted to make sure I had enough room in the center for all of my writing. The past couple months, I've learned that I tend to overlap my doodles with my writing and not give myself enough space. I wrote out the Sunday through Saturday with a side on the right for the total of my income and spending for that week. And that's going to do it for this page, so on to my first weekly spread. I put the first initial of the month in the top left hand corner here as I normally do just so that way it's easier as I'm flipping through to find the month that I'm trying to look for. Put it in a little cake, added the streamers, added some presents here on the bottom, and of course the balloons. I'm kind of obsessed with these balloons now. Using that micron pen for all of these cute little details and this pack of micron pens that I got from Amazon came with so many line weights that it's perfect for either the smaller details or the larger ones or just writing with them so they're great. Decided to use a long type of cursive and wrote out the days of the week. So that does it for the last of my spreads. We're just going to go back to the front and do a quick little flip through. do it for my bullet journal here for you guys this month I hope you guys enjoyed if you would like to see the videos of me setting up my weekly spreads you can go ahead and check out my patreon the link is down below every week I put out videos of me setting up my spreads as well as little sprinkles of extra little goodness for whatever tier you're in but for three dollars a month you also get bullet journal stickers I make my own bullet journal stickers I'm so excited this is the sticker pack that I made for last month for the month of August went along with the theme there I would show you the ones that I made here for September but <laughs> we have to buy new ink our printer though fabulous and makes some great prints runs out of ink very quickly it's very annoying so I'm waiting on that to get delivered but these stickers are really cool as you can see they are printed on I'm not gonna put it too close because you can't see but it's printed on transparent sticker paper that I make here 
I don't make the paper here. I print them here. I cut them out here. Yeah, it's great. It's a good time. I do cut them out using just an X-Acto knife right now, so the cuts aren't super perfect, but that's also another reason why it's on transparent paper because it's transparent, so you're not going to really see how awful the cuts can be. So if you guys want to be part of my little patron gang, you guys can go ahead and check that out. Help support this channel. And as they see at the end of every Caillou episode, because I watch too many of those, this channel is supported by viewers like you. Thank you. Like, I know that's what's said at the end of every PBS Kids show, but specifically Caillou was in my head. That and Clifford the Big Red Dog. I watched so many of those. Probably later into my teenage years than one probably does. If you guys liked the video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me trying to conquer the human race, be sure to subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media, at Quinn Kalen. We can chat, DM me, oh, we can become best friends. I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! This is my third glass of water. Why? Because Kalua decided to stick her paw in my other glass that I just filled up. It's not like she doesn't already have a freshly poured bowl of water herself. She just, you know, wants what she can't have, which I get. I understand. I feel that.